Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with another series of tutorials for you. In this series of tutorials, I will tell you about project management using network analysis. So we will talk about how to manage a project using network analysis and using two network analysis techniques known as PART, PERT and CPM. PART stand for Program Evaluation and Review Technique and CPM stand for critical path method. So this is the first video in the tutorial series and today we will talk about some basics and some fundamental theories which you must know before we start the actual project management. So first let's talk about project. What is a project? A project is a combination of interrelated activities which must be carried out in a certain order so that the entire work is completed. The activities are interrelated in logical sequence in such a way that some activities cannot start until some others are completed. An activity is something which requires both time and resource. Let's take an example of building a power station or a power generation plant. So what we will do? Basically we will start from a certain point, then we will do some survey such as land acquisition surveys and whether the project can actually be done at that area, how can we distribute the electricity generated. Some things are needed to be surveyed before a project is laid. After starting, we will do some survey and doing some survey, it actually takes some time and some resource. Like we have to send some engineers to the field, they will do the survey among local peoples and about the area. So it will take time and some resource. Resource can be anything like uh, physical labor or uh, like money. These are called resources. Next after the survey is done, if everything goes optimal and if the survey result is positive, then we will start laying out the foundation for our project. So next in that phase, we will basically install some transformers and some power generation units like dynamos and other things. So next we will consider the installation and after the installation and the plant is ready for power generation. So we can do two things. Either we can give the plan to some third party that is outsource the project operation. They will just do the operation maintenance activities and all the things and by that they will generate the power then we can distribute the power and can earn profit. So next we can either outsource and then generate the power then distribute it to the local grid and then earn the profit. So this is one way of completing this project. We can go using the other way which is instead of outsourcing the project operation we can decide to run the power plant by ourselves. So in that case, what will we need? We will need to employ some engineers, some managers, some field operators, some laborers to run the project by ourselves. So next phase will be employment in that case. Next after employment, we need to train them for the operation of the plant. So next phase is training and after the training, so next comes the generation phase, again the distribution phase and the profit phase. So by completing either this way or this way, we can go to the same goal. So our project may be completed in many ways, but our objective is to choose that particular way which finishes the project in least possible time, with least possible cost and with minimization of idle resources because if you pay an engineer some salary and if you keep them idle this is not profitable. So our objective for network analysis is minimization of total time, minimization of total cost and minimization of idle resources. So what is network analysis? Network analysis is one of the most popular techniques used for planning, scheduling monitoring and controlling large and complex projects comprising a large number of activities. In this method of project management, 
we develop a network which represents the logical sequence of work elements depicting a complex situation. Basically, before the survey is done, you can't start installation. And before the generation is done, you can't start the distribution. So there is a logical sequence of doing the work that is represented using a network diagram. We have depicted a complex series of operations from installation of a power plant to making profit from it using a simple diagram. And not only we just make a network diagram, but basically we extract data from it and do a logical analysis of it and do the best to run the project smoothly. So there are two types of network management techniques in use. Well, due to length of the tutorial, I am breaking this tutorial in three parts. This is the end of the part one. In the part two, I will continue the discussion about the basics of project management. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when I upload my next video, you get an email if you subscribe. And please like and share the video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.